So we're here at Skills USA Welding Competition at the national event, and I'm joined by the American Welding Society President-elect, Dennis Eck. Dennis, we want to thank you for all your support. Thank you. Let me know some things that, that AWS does for welding here at this event. Specifically for this event, our goal is to enhance and bring value to the future of our welding and um, highlight those students that come from each state so that we have the ability to focus on foundation. We give out about $1.8 million wow. of scholarships, grants, and um, really want to do what needs to be done. We're currently about 300,000 welders short in the United States. We have approximately 10,000 welders that are tenured that are retiring. So we really need to pick up the pace in a way that we don't lose momentum within the industry. We're finding that as I walk around here to see these students so focused, determined, and the passion is overwhelming to me just to see um, what they want to do in life. Each student I talked to or have talked to before the competition really started was quite impressive to me. I was um, I was overwhelmed with the the desire that they have, and what our goal is is to continue to nurture the relationships, follow what Skills USA has the structure for, the plans for, so that we can work within that system and enable ourselves to get stronger each year so that we can get better at communicating with the different generations. What we're finding is, and it's been historical with all generations, but things are a little bit different now with the speed of, of uh, how, with how fast things are moving. And if we can leverage our relationship with them to help teach us how to do all the technology, the digital uh, transformation so that we can get better at enhancing programs, and the technology that we need to have in order for, for both um, generations to, to get better at relating and growing, growing what we're wanting to grow. So the, the American Welding Society, based in Miami, Florida, is probably the most well-known organization for governing and, and certifying welders and codes. So this competition that you're viewing here today is judged and scored based on D11 AWS Codebook. So it's really important that if people understand how large of an organization AWS is in the entire industry. You're right. And you mentioned that we're 300,000 welders short. Uh, today, you're witnessing the next generation. Right, so, right. So looking at some of the completed projects, you know, how do you feel about the up and coming crop of young welders in America today? You think we got some good looking stuff here? I, I, I feel very strongly that we're preparing for the future as I walk around and, and look at what they created. When I look at the, uh, the manuals that they were giving or the guidelines and procedures, just how well that was written. And with AWS writing all of the standards, certification, education, we believe that we're um, enabling ourselves to do what we need to do for, for our future. Um, so we've used AWS as, as a resource at the national level for many, many years. Right, right. And AWS sends representatives to various state welding competitions for Skills USA. So we're our next goal is to bring the state levels up to this national level, and AWS is enabling us to do that with the support you guys give. So uh, Skills USA really appreciates the support that AWS gives. Uh, the American Welding Society, and we really appreciate you being here today. Well, thank you for the invite. It's good to be here. So if you're in the area, if you're anywhere near the Georgia World Congress Center, come on out. If you want to make plans to visit the event next year, check out SkillsUSA website, become an AWS member, and get involved in those local districts and chapters and sections in your area so you can help build the next generation of young welders in America with the help of the American Welding Society.